Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. I am about eight days out from having to move out of my house. And what I've done is packed up all of my eBay inventory. And this is what it looks like. I still have quite a bit in the basement still, but I'm out here in my uh, trailer shed outside in the yard and I have everything in boxes. All the boxes are labeled. Um, still got quite a ways to go. There's a big box up there. I can't believe Spencer got it up there. I've packed up some of these boxes really heavy. Um, all it is is that we're moving all these boxes to our storage locker and then it's going to sit there for two and a half weeks and then when we move into our house, when we get ownership of our new house, we're going to move it all out of the storage locker and into our new house in Nova Scotia. Picked up a king size uh, box spring from a neighbor the other day and uh, so we're going to haul that to Nova Scotia as well. Today I'm also getting ready to do a scrap run. I took apart a couple air conditioner units and some rads. A little bit of scrap there I got put in the back of the truck but there's before I fill it up there's one thing I want to show you here that we that we picked up. It's a kiln that we got for free if you can believe it. I just put this piece of wood on because it was supposed to rain. Let's take a look at this guy. So, I'm definitely not scrapping this. It's a ceramic kiln. And so you can do all kinds of things with this. Um, Christine really wanted it. And the price was right. Amazing, eh? Some, someone was uh, just getting rid of it. So we went over to the guy's house and I guess the there was a death in the family. See, there's a whole bunch of uh, pieces down in there. And it looks like it's never really been fired. It's like, it looks like brand spanking new. So yeah, like I was saying, there was a death in the family and uh, so they want to get rid of it. And there was a lot of other stuff at their house. Um, they had a dumpster there. They were throwing out all kinds of things, but I didn't really feel like it was a good place to ask for uh, for more stuff. I didn't really feel comfortable in saying like, oh, can I go in the dumpster? <laughs> So I'm going to finish loading up the truck and then after the scrapyard, I'm going to co come back, pick up my son and we're going to bring that thing to the storage locker because it's heavy. Uh, luckily it has these two handles, one each side, so it's easier to carry, but it's still pretty heavy. Um, so yeah, we'll store that in, my, in our storage locker for now and then bring it out to Nova Scotia eventually. Um, but yeah, so for scrap, a couple of these compressors, a motor, and I'm not done with this box yet. Looks like mostly just metal down there. Mostly just steel. There's a piece. So I'll clean that up a little bit. And number one there is a bucket of number two. Not too bad. So I've been really cutting up the copper to make number one out of number two. And so I've been using this. So instead of me bending down onto the ground, most of the most of the pieces just fall into this bucket. So there you go, number one there. And then there's another number one piece. And see there's like number two. So that goes in the other bucket. So I have to sort that. A couple of motors here to bring in. I got these ECR rads that I cut up. These ones are really, really beefy. I'll so bring those in. And then two aluminum ones. The two AC units that I got yesterday were just pure aluminum. Which, you know, disappointing, but what can you do? And uh, these are some toys that I picked up, uh, I guess, last week. Not sure what to do with them, but they're kind of neat. So we got a little dinky auto service. Dinky Soup Toys, made in England. This one's kind of neat. Volkswagen sedan, made in Japan. It's metal. And a couple Tonkas. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with them. Maybe I'll put them in a box and bring them with me, but same with this, you know. I saw a YouTuber and what what he does is uh, he cuts faces in these things with an acetylene torch. 
and then he sells them like as a as a jack o' lantern. I thought that was kind of neat. Makes me want to get a torch. I've been wanting a excelling torch, cutting torch for a long time now. A bit of brass. So that's it. So I'm gonna finish packing up, go to the scrapyard, make uh make a couple hundred bucks today. Not too much, but so picking up scrap for now. It's Tuesday, and I told them my last day picking up scrap was Friday. So in a, in a few days, it's going to be an end of an era, and I'm going to say goodbye to my contact. And there we have it. We're all packed up, ready to go. Let's hit the road. There we have it all done. Moving around lots of metal today. Ugh. Well, one thing about this place is I'm not really going to miss driving my truck through here uh, because you just never know what you're going to drive over. And believe it or not, all these years I have not had a nail in my tire yet or a screw. And yeah, I know, knock on wood, right? But uh, I'm not that superstitious. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it happen to me, right? I think mean, when I get home, there's a big screw in my tire. And this little light here, I always have a hard time looking at it. There, turn green. All right, go in and get paid, and we'll see how much I make. All right, let's t check out the totals. So I got $26 for the shred, 26 for the insulated wire, $7.38 for the motors, $12 for compressors, 50 cents for some old sheet, just one pound of it, aluminum copper rad, $67, yellow brass, $5.40, copper two, $36, and yeah. and the copper one, $58.50, so copper's going down. $3.25 a pound, and aluminum rads, those two big ones, uh, 21 bucks. So two sixty dollars in total, that's nice. But uh, yeah, prices are going down, I guess. Uh, I don't know, don't really keep track of it, to be honest. Um, yeah, you're not going to believe this, guys. I got home. Uh, look at this dude. And look at that. Can you believe it? But I think I've had this screw for a while because as I've been driving along, I kept on hearing like a ticking sound. And I thought it was like some, something flapping in the back of my truck. You know, like a little, sometimes I pick up hot water tanks and there's like a little sticker on it. It goes flap, flap, flap. But then I was driving home, I, I kept hearing it. So I pulled over and I checked the tire and sure enough, there's a screw in there. <laughs> what are the chances, eh? So anyways, I gotta fix that. Um, I do have, this kit here. I thought I had a kit. Yeah, it's still there. Good. I have a plug kit that I carry around. So I'll put a plug in there. I guess you're supposed to bring it to a shop and they have it professionally plugged up, but. I don't know. I've always done this with plugs myself and no problems, but well, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe it'll be really, really shallow. I doubt it. I think it goes all the way through. Got some soapy water. Oh yeah, look at this already bubbling. I must have just got it then because, uh, you know, like I said, I thought I've had this thing for a while, but otherwise there, I just checked the tire pressure. It's still good. There it is. That's a deep one, so can't really do this with uh, with one hand. So just showing you this, reaming it out, and then I have the thing with some silicone on it, so I can get in there. Well, it was a little bit tougher than I thought it was going to be. I did a. I did one plug, I didn't really like it, so I took it out and I did another one. And there it is there. No bubbles, so I think we're okay. Put everything away now. I like this little tool kit. 
carried around with me because, you know, I I end up with a lot of nails and screws. <laughs> it's not the first time. And I picked up this thing. I like this. Little digital pressure tire, uh, tire pressure reader and inflator and deflator. So I'm going to pump it up back up to 35. And I can check the rest of my tires at the same time. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Alright, brought the family out for some R&R &R before we do our big move. Charleston Lake. Are we excited, kids? Yeah! Yep. Alright. Hey, the water is a bit higher than uh, last time. Yeah. Or no. I forget. So yeah, we have been here before. This uh, this lake is really nice. It has a couple beaches around that side, um, which are really nice, but we have other plans. We're gonna swim out in this, and we are gonna head over to that rock over there and uh, explore a little bit over there and have a nice little day. All right, guys, we walked, or we didn't walk, we swam all the way across that. Send it. <laughs> Parker's finding some blueberries. Yeah, this side's a little shallow. So yeah, last time we were here, there's a beach way around the corner here. This actually, this island right here is, I guess, he, there's a private island. He must own all of that. We actually were on just on that by accident. But uh, we there's a beach way down there, and we swam all the way around, came up through here, and then climbed up on this, climbed up here. And this time, we have shoes, because in the water here, the rocks are just covered in broken snails. And we cut up our feet really, really bad last time we were here. It's just little shards of glass everywhere. Little shells. You can see them all there.